Free Locker coming right at you with another episode. GTS. Woo! Thank you to all the new subscribers. I am almost there to 300 subs. Yay! 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 Yes! Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. 16 to go. Then I'll have the subscribers. The, my goal for next month is. 300 so let's get to the match lineup we have we have we have we have here the GTS tag team champions Kenny Omega and CM Punk going against a legendary team the Dudley Boys team. Three. We got Kid Christian versus the coach. Oh my god, this is wait for it. A legendary wait for it match. Who is the most legendary person here? Dave Cage, Jay Evans, or Joe Wolf. Yo, all their names start with a J. Ha ha! Huh. In our main event of the evening, or this morning, or whatever, where he's from, I do not know. But, it is for the United States Championship, in a steel cage match, ride back versus H. Marchman. Let's get the matches rolling, rolling, rolling. When we return, we return it's a battle, battle where the participants, participants will need to know where they are at all times. We have a team led by one of our breakout talents versus a formidable opposition to say the least. Here we go, people. Hello, babe. Thanks for joining. As always, thank you always support me. YouTube world, real life. I love you. Thank you for everything. GTS Tag Team Champions, baby! <laughs> Kenny freaking What's Omega. This? Well, Yo, why? I think it's about why to be a highlight reel. Doing this? The following contest. Oh, and now we have a brawl on our hands. Oh, yeah. They didn't need the match to start to make a point. Concentrating on the body here. Omega's just hit my beret. Holy Ray, whatever hell you want to call him. Holy Ray, Bubba Ray. Look at these camera angles, holy shit. 
He's gonna all have these fans, after people. That one. Look at all my fans here in the GTS. Arena. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I was shit. That was something. Yeah, holy shit. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Doesn't get any better than this. We're about to witness oh, tag oh, team action oh, at its oh, finest, oh. fellas. Mega ain't taking no shit from the Dudley boys. A high risk maneuver in the works from that top oh, no. turnbuckle. Oh, what's Punk doing? What's Punk gonna do? What is Punk gonna do? Oh, look at these kicks. What a oh, combination. Oh, oh. That's a oh, great example of teamwork damn. right there. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, match he really needs to make a tag soon the abuse his body has gone through in this match is a little disturbing oh, i don't know why he hasn't made the tag yet it's almost like he enjoys the pain you know i thought this match was going to be much more tightly contested i guess that's not the case yes though. these guys hear me make a lot of mm and ahs listen I might need butt surgery. In order to be a premier tag team, right a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity Sorry. where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. Day. I'm talking about but classic techniques, like, like cutting the ring in half, there. isolating your opponent, some relegating some them to your corner, I got it. and making it frequent there. tags so that the fresh <laughs> man is always funny. in the ring. Ah, That's how you keep ah, your opponents off balance. It hurts. It really hurts. It's like right on the nerves, though. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through oh what it God. takes for a so tag team to be successful. Awesome Continuity between tag team partners is crucial. The team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag. They're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape. It, look at, he's inflicting some serious you pain here. Get Dudley boys when you attack the best tag team here in GTS. One of the best. In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Yeah, Try working with Saxon at ringside. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. Oh, the pump, what the hell are you doing? Big time slam right there. He's putting you over so you don't bitch like a baby. Oh, oh, just drop kicking me from off my head. <laughs> What's up, ref? I've got until five. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Oh, my the mask shit, what the gives your opponent that? an opportunity to get back in it. <laughs> but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the ring longer Woo! than you have to be. Yeah, but sometimes you just enjoy beating somebody up, especially if you're in the ring with somebody like Saxton. Bubba dead? I mean, Devon dead? Oh, God, he's dead. For life, for life, for life, for life, for life! He's got the ropes and the pin is broken. Hey, don't boo me now. This is not exactly the area you want to be in. Looks like he's starting to slip now. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. Uses the headbutt. Set him up for Russian leg sweep. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. 
knocked right off the apron. Electric chair. Oh, oh, that's right. Game, set, match. This one is over. And he got a near oh, fall out of it. Oh, come on, Red. In I May 2017, on SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. Oh, boy, he is worried. Nobody controls the pace of the match. Oh, no, 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 no. like this guy. I think oh, only a group of treacherous is the welcoming oh, committee. Oh, God, they're going to hand him a 3D. 3D. Oh, my God. Natalya's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was a big, nice move. He's really looking to prove a point here. Help. Looks like the second time's going to be the charm here. Oh, yeah. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. Well, man, he's going off here. I don't know if this is by design or if he just lost his mind. Broke them, and he comes crashing down. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go for it and miss, that could be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for. And then he may have discovered his favorite move. Times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an oh and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Oh shit. Oh loving blow. He's not looking good here. His hopes of winning might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. But I don't think it's what a driver. He's going for the pin. What an incredible tag team contest. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. I could watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. And again. The best Kenny in the world, CM Punk, and the cleaner. Another Kenny. exciting tag team match in the books. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday. Hold on to your seats. We have singles action coming up next. We have a real fan favorite versus a formidable opponent. Balls count anywhere, so the action might end up in somebody's lap, including ours. I'll be right back, guys.
making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 218 pounds, Kid Christian. Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. What has my life come to? I gotta sit on pillows because my ass hurts. And his opponent oh. from Jersey City, <laughs> That's New Jersey, weighing in at 240 pounds, Coach Morris. Coach. Coach what a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. Am I glad to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener? I mean, it can very well have been our main event. You wear short shorts. You wear short shorts. Hmm. Ring the bell, you... Crooked rat. This match just this might set social, social media on fire. Well, it's already short, trending. Short. And as we all know, guys, this Holy one can shit. literally end Holy anywhere shit. in this arena. Holy oh shit! <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. This is why you need to subscribe to my channel. Because that was awesome. Yeah. Yeah! Come on, coach! Blow that damn whistle, huh? He's taking some offense. He's really gonna need to create some space for himself. Hey, you're gonna get hurt in a match like this. That's just the way it is. There's really no way around it. By the looks of things, I don't think he expected his opponent to be as motivated as he clearly is here tonight. Guys, the most important thing for a superstar to remember in a Falls Count Anywhere match is that anything goes. And I do mean anything. I hope he's looking at it. One move after the other. It's devastating. Can he finish the job? Uh, yeah, there's no way this match isn't over after that one. As Byron mentioned, anything goes in this one, which means we're likely to see a liberal use of weaponry here tonight. Yeah, and keep in mind, Cole, the fact that there's no disqualification also means that anybody can interfere. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. You're here very shortly, guys, on, and when guys. that happens, you can bet this one's gonna be over. Up. Insane elbow! Oh boy, he is rolling. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh boy, he is rolling. What up, bro? Oh, what? The drop kick hits the target. Ah, I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon. And Given how impactful that move has hey, been, people as of late, enjoy this I'd say shit, there's man. almost no they don't coming back watch from it. They don't like it. it seems like that finisher has become more and more impactful with each passing week. But that's even, I think we know what this is. Nicely no executed. But he's got is a messenger acting up, bro? This may very well be it. Plenty of fight left. Not yet. Well, guys, the referee should have it relatively easy here tonight because, as you know, in a false count anywhere match, anything goes. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Talk about having the living hell 
speed out of you. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this match. He has got to fight back. He's fading fast here, guys. If I'm his opponent, I'm thinking about putting him out of his misery sooner than later. Hard to argue your take on this match, Michael. When there are no rules to enforce, the official's sole responsibility in a match like this is to simply declare the oh, victor. Man. Yeah, the referee may only have one job, but I'm still willing to bet he finds a way to mess <laughs> up. Looking at it here. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Oh, oh boy, he is oh, Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match on ice. Uh, he's just playing classic offense here. I'm not sure how much he has left. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. He's a one-man wrecking crew. Takes him down in a major way, too. Nope, reverses it. Oh, boy, he is wrong. He's taken down. You know, I don't think he has much he's left. Gonna fly. Chris is gonna fly. I hate when they do that shit. He's gonna fly. Uh -oh. Suicide dive. Look at this. And he got a near fall out of it. Nice kick out. If you can hear me, babe, I'm literally the shit NBA on my deer. purple toe. That's how you move up the ladder here in WWE. This shoulder's on the back. Sorry, guys, for the TMI, but I'm really having some issues. The pinfall and the victory. And here's another look at some incredible Hello. action from a match that we're not likely to stop talking about for a long, long time. Hello. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. This entire match was just one big highlight reel, and I didn't expect anything else. Here's your winner. Here is your winner, King Christian. Christian. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. We have a triple threat matchup coming up next. Remember, the first superstar to get a pinfall or submission is the winner. Let's do it. Exactly helping. You gotta do, you gotta do. The pillow's working. Yeah. Who is gonna win this legendary, wait for it, Matt? No, 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 no. Are you. Are, Mama, I know you're getting old, but are you hold up? Are you. <laughs> are you hard of hearing? I think I'm so used to hearing it's not working. No, I said my pillow is working. These are all legendary. Wait for it. Dairy. Legendary guys. Uh-uh, 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 Classic. Here comes Jay Page. <laughs> Making his way to the ring from Jersey City, New Jersey. Weighing in at 253 pounds, Jake Case. He is legendary. He is legendary. Football player, Jake Case, the best in New Jersey, Mom. He's the best in New Jersey. Guys, what better way to start Jay the night Cade. off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact. Wait for it. Legend that round. 
<laughs> now here is Jay, the key, Evan, and his opponents. First, from New Jersey, weighing in at 178 pounds, the legend Jay Evan. And Corey, I can tell you these superstars are excited to be able to compete tonight on Halloween. Would you stop, Cole? Do you really think these superstars care about a silly holiday like Halloween? The only thing they care about is winning a match. Now here comes Tiny Turd. Seriously, that's his nickname. And Days. from Queens, New it's York, cool. weighing in at 200 pounds, I'm taller than him. Joe Wool. Even the girls on GTS Wrestling is taller than him. And of course, quick thank you to everybody uh, watching tonight for spending part of your Halloween Halloween. with us. And I can see that Saxton got dressed up for the occasion. I didn't realize they made nerd costumes. <laughs> so no. I would be remiss if I didn't mention, and it's important to remember amidst the chaos of a triple threat match, victory can be achieved in many different ways, and that it's every man for himself. Oh my god, he's got to kill him. And he has a monstrous power bomb. He jumps so high off the ground, he can invent moves in midair. Using all his power to drive him to the mat. I'm the best in New Jersey! Wow, look how quick! He's showing absolutely no pity now, guys. change in an instant oh, in a oh, triple oh, threat no. match. It's hard to tell at this point, but perhaps the unpredictable nature of this match Legendary. is too much for him to overcome. Going at it. These are all great friends. These are all great friends. Look at this. Just a brutal battle. He might have it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't even try it, tiny turd. It's oh, got to be hard to rebound from shit. that one. This might be the opportunity he needed. Oh, yeah. He's on the defensive here. This is a dangerous spot for him to be here in this triple threat match. Well, he's clearly not used to competing in a match like this, and it's starting to show. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. Well, hanging on for dear luck. Go on. Oh man, I don't know who to root for. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go for it and miss, that can be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for. Hold on, guys. Starts having to fit. He never had to fit in the living room. I'll be back. Newbies watching a false count anywhere match yeah. me. He's fighting back Star here. I expected voice. nothing less. Reverses that one. Uh, 
I live in a crazy ass neighborhood, so you never he know. He forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. Oh, God. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Corey, we've seen unbelievable championship matches and triple threat contests over the years. You're absolutely right. The fact that a champion does not have to submit or be pinned or be factored in the decision at all to lose their championship is something that can influence their approach to the match. As some would say in a triple threat, here he delivers a hard clothesline. Can that's it? It's over. It's over. I'm not sure how much. Oh, right the cast. That was pretty nice. Shot wow. it down. Yeah, that move amazes me every time. When this guy's on, look. There it is, the Batista bomb. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously counter here. He's too quick for him there. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. The finisher could absolutely end this match, Michael, as you were saying. But it's not a guarantee. His shoulders are down. Uh -uh. He breaks the pin. And he slams him down. He's playing with him now. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, boy, he's He's starting to show signs of fatigue. Don't be surprised if he shrugs it off and comes back more motivated than ever. He breaks out. He's not done just yet, Michael. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, shut up, Jay Wolf. I just can't get over the physicality of this match. This has been brutal. Hooked up, down. The Jinoku driver. He goes for the cover. Yeah, he's got a lot left in him. Very nice. No, he reverses it. He's looking incredibly fatigued right now. He may very well be running on instinct right now. And you get the feeling that he's not going to look back at this match with great fondness. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Oh, he got him. Let's look at this again. He's in a vulnerable spot now, guys. Look at him. He's wide open for attack. Dropped hard with the leg sweep. He's fighting back here. Uh, I expected uh, nothing less, Cole. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's got him covered. It's all over. What an amazing triple threat contest. The Falls Count Anywhere matches never disappoint, but this one might go down in the annals of the WWE as one of the best ever. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Wow. I haven't seen a match like that in a long time. I might go home and watch a replay. It was that good. Here is your winner, Jake Kings. And that's a win to start off the night. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Wow, now that match was a treat. Thank you, everybody, for joining us Legend on this Wait Halloween for evening. Gary, legendary. We've been right, waiting a long time for this one. Bang, the championship baby. is up for grabs right, right here. Back. Next, we have one of our Feed breakout talents more. against an imposing adversary. First, a championship first, match. First, what we've first, all been waiting for. State championship. <laughs> yes.
The following contest is a steel cage match. And it's for the Internet United States Championship. Here he comes! He's fucking right back! And he's coming to destroy you! Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting superstars ready to square off here. And there's nothing quite like seeing two superstars settling it in the oh, ring in one-on-one -on -one action, Michael. Uh. You know that song, I wanna hit the bottom, Mr. Christmas. Well, this is going for my YouTubers, too, so my subscribers and gamers, so I'll sing it all together. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Well, you know what I want? I want a new butt for Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just moments away from this gigantic steel cage match. And given the superstars involved, you can bet this one will be about as vicious and gruesome as it gets. Introducing the challenger from Las Vegas, Nevada. Weighing in at 291 pounds, Big Guy Roy Bad. Yeah. Introducing the champion from New Jersey, weighing in at 210 pounds, he is the Internet United States Champion, Ace Mark. Man! Oh, let's go. Hard to be a betting man on this one. These two competitors can be unpredictable. That's what makes this match so intriguing. Punishing attack on the body. Back roll, bitch. Oh my god. Super ass. He hits the clothesline. Now check this out. He's, He's got the shoulders down. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. The challenger's starting to slow down a bit here. You can bet he's not going to let this golden opportunity slip so easily. You hate to think this way, but part of me thinks he might be over his head inside that slam. Wow, what a slam. But he's got to capitalize now. Sure, close line. We may very well be seeing the finisher here. right now. Hey, you and I both know he's double time. Oh. I'm not going to let something like this stop him from winning the steel cage. Man. Vertical suplex. Nice. 
I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon, on, given how impactful that move has been as of late. On, I'd say there's almost no coming back from it. You're right, Michael. It seems like that finisher has become more and more impactful with each passing week. But that's even possible. A mammoth slam right there, guys. He's making a statement here with this attack. You're the big guy. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. But is it enough to end it? Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's Open a smart move. Door. Just hit the finisher, get the win, oh, no. and get out of there. No, 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 no. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for Can you joining. imagine the celebration that will take place probably into the wee hours of the morning? If we crown a new champion here tonight, anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the ring longer than you have to be. Yeah, but sometimes you just enjoy beating somebody up, especially if you're in the ring with somebody like Saxton. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit. Finisher, get the win, and get out of there. When this guy's on, look out. Holy shit. Look right back. Look at this. Oh, my. Some are saying this is the night the title changes hands, though I'm not so sure I'm ready to say that. Anytime it looks like he's pinpointing the back, but he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? There's the cover. Can he do it? Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up too soon. On, he dodges out of the way. Uh, uh, this is uh, around the ring. Over. Now it's time to capitalize. Come on, come on. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Son of a bitch. This is it. Oh god, what the hell? Oh my gosh, you gotta put him through the stale cage? Look what we've seen and heard tonight. Holy there shit! There must be serious Holy injuries. shit! Oh, oh, Holy shit! So who the hell wins? Who the hell wins? Who won? What the shit? How are these no, superstars even still going, shit. guys? I mean, That's just like the Roman Reigns and Brock at fucking... What? Oh yeah. Ace Marksman, you're dead when Ryback gets your hand, when he gets his hand on you next. Oh my God! All right, guys. Well, if you, uh, if I get some pretty good views here, I'll be back tonight. But holy shit, this has been the best episode yet. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Ah, uh, see you later. Hopefully, my butt appointment goes great. All right, guys. Peace out. Thank you for watching every day. See ya.